Bro. What's up? Just walked right into a shot. Oh, I'm so sorry. Everybody. Yes, indeed, it's a Wednesday and we're out spitting. What's going on? I know. So, morning. Hello. Oh, oh no, look, bro's got the map today, folks. We're bound to end up lost. We're heading north to go and look at a prison. Bro, we're taking you to prison, bro. It's not something like, we always wear the same things in our videos. Do we? Well, that's because we've got two one. Weeks. I've only got one set of clothes. <laughs> Folks, as you can see, we're in the middle of nowhere on this uh, search for the prison. Now, we've walked past a few signs. We haven't walked past, we've driven past a few signs that are inside. So, and look at this area, man. It's in the middle of nowhere. So, you can imagine a prison being here. And it's like uh, the Yorkshire Moors or something. Look, amazing. <laughs> well, folks, we've got a massive change of plan from looking for a prison. We've gone to suddenly, we've seen a standing stone on the horizon. So, we're going to clamber over this rutted field and just have a quick look at it um, so I don't know what it's all about so you know what we're like we see something we just go for it so big change of plan as I said we're kind of in the middle of nowhere here we've, we've driven through Norin's side and just no sign of the prison at all so I, you can't lose a prison can you bro it's very gone it's very knocked down mm. it is What's up? Just walked right into a shot. Oh, I'm so sorry. Second of ah. was. <laughs> sorry, bro. <laughs> there it is, folks. Bro's having a fit. Right, well, there it is, folks. Not very sure what it is. It's got a hole in the bottom here. Look. Now, it's the kind of thing bro would say. Is that a bullet hole? Um, so, yeah, it's got a hole right in the... Right in the get your finger in it, folks. Look. So, I'm not actually sure why it's... It's a symbol stone, it's got no symbols on it, so just a very random. Is that what it's there for, bro? Is it? All right, excellent. Oh, yeah. Right, folks, we're here, but it's all very secured off and everything. Look, and we're a bit scared. No dogs permitted beyond this point. 24 hour security on site. Um, I don't know, man. What do you think? Well, it says no access. I know, yeah. <laughs> We're a bit scared with it. I don't know, man. It looks like it could be deserted, obviously. So I don't know what the history of this is. It's for sale. Definitely it's for sale. Uh, for £150,000. Oh, for the whole jail? I think so, yeah. It's very cheap, isn't it? We could buy this at Spiz HQ. Um, and put our mortgages together, but we could buy this place out. So. I'm very tempted to go in for a stroll, but now this 24 hour security thing is a bit of a. To gain access, please call. Well, yeah, I suppose we could do. See what they say. Bro's actually phoning the number. Yeah. I don't know who I'm phoning, mate. Could be Kim Yong Dong. Yeah, hi, um, I wanted to connect with, we're at northern side at the moment, at the gate, um, and it says you have to phone to get access, so I just wanted to get some photographs, are we allowed to walk in and do that? We're not driving, we're just going to be walking. Okay then, okay, thank you, bye. Oh, well done bro, well coming, done. He's coming to the gate. Oh, is he? Oh, no Very way. exciting Sorry. moment here, the security guard's going to come down and assess us, see if we're allowed to go in and... Take some photographs. Oh, here it comes. Is this it? You stand uh, yes. in the wrong position because sometimes at Scottish water, yes, more oh, it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, this is the old building here, this part here, look. Yeah. Excellent. At the beginning it was a middle part and then left and right part. Yeah. Look at the chimney stack there, look at that. 
Look, look. Did you have an office here? Uh, my office. Excellent. Still room, folks. Yes, a massive shout out there to Thank you, Peter. Peter. Peter, the the security guard there, Polish guy, let us in there. And he said we can walk around, but we're not allowed to go that way, seemingly. So this used to be a sanatorium back in the 60s, and then it was a borstal, and then it was a, uh, a, a was it a, a, a listy, an open prison, an open open prison, prison like for, uh, Castle Huntley. yeah, for castle, uh, for uh, delisted prisoners. Um, so whatever that is. But excellent, there it is, folks. Very like, uh, as I said, it's a bit like Strath, Strath Martin is kind of openness. See me? Oh. <laughs> These might be the cells, folks. I'm not sure. Can we get a good view in? But yeah, they're all the same size. Small rooms, yes. So I reckon this could have been the cell block here, folks, because all the rooms are quite small and they've all got that kind of bunkhouse mentality, if you know what I mean. It just looks like there could be a bunk in there and a, this little sort of spy hole on the on the door as well. So, yeah, I reckon this could have probably been the, the cell block. Another one there. Please be aware this door is the entrance and exit for this building. All oh, this is the, the office bit here, look. Sort of the office bit here. Well, I could get in here, couldn't I? It's a car here, is it? Look. This roof contains asbestos. Oh dear. Shade. Wow, there we go, folks. That was Noran Side Hospital. Excellent. Thank you very much indeed to Peter, the security guard, for letting us walk around there. Very good of you. But it's actually Baltic now, folks. And, uh, oh, got my tea time, I think. My right, folks, we're a bit lost. We've come up this road, um, Glen Ogle or something, and it just came up this track. And honestly, it was like one of these Peruvian death mountain sides. The road just went away from the side, and it was just a big drop down. It was always oh, horrific. So, um, we're kind of stuck in this. We had to turn around, we just went, went, kept on going, kept on going, and we've ended up in the, the back of beyond. Um, so we're just going to have to turn around and try and find a place to have a cup of tea. 
Oh, to you. If the car going down there and Brooke comes in, honestly. Right, here we go. We're off. Well, folks, well, we couldn't resist this. We saw this uh, loch that bro had seen on the map, so we were determined to get down to it. So here it is. Oh, this is awesome, bro. Oh, look at this. Whoops. <laughs> hey. Well, when you come back here again for a walk. Here it is, folks. It's wonderful. Loch. What is it called, bro? Did you say loch? Loch Glen Quick or Link Quick. Loch Quick. Loch Quick. We're going to come back down here in the summer, though. It's all just—it's totally frozen, folks. Totally frozen. There's a bit of water moving over there, but other than that, look, just totally, absolutely Baltic. Absolutely Baltic, folks. Love the noise. Doink. Yeah, ding, 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 doink. Good discovery, bro. Well done. Come on, still need this cup of tea, though. Mm -hmm. Right, folks, I've just had to stop. I'm so hungry. Rhoda kept on driving forever. Well, made me drive forever. You, you made me drive forever. No. You wanted me to starve, so I'm having a cup of tea right now, folks, and this lay by in the middle of nowhere. Okay, there's protection down there. Don't panic. Mm -hmm. Is that no. the line out? 